a delicious update for you. You know, there's been a lot of talk about lab-grown meat and uh, faces have been turning green over the idea of, well, if you've seen any of the footage of how it's produced, well, it explains why lots of us aren't so keen, but apparently within two years, we're going to expect this stuff to be widely available on our dinner plates. Not on mine, probably not on yours either. And let's face it, it's destined to fail, but it's not stopping the price increases. It's not stopping the animals that are consumed getting all sorts of illnesses, diseases, bird flu, the eggs, all that sort of stuff. It's increasing the prices and there will be people looking for alternatives because of cost and because of the social coercion of doing the right thing. Along with that fake meat, what you can also expect is things like fake butter. It's made out of CO2, apparently. CO2, which is effectively made out of nothing. So you can imagine the nutritional value over something like that, right? And you'll never guess who's behind that, like all of this. Uh, of course, it's Billy G. Yeah, it, uh, who else? <laughs> You'd already guess that you probably saw the uh, the uh, smaller writing in that article as well, backing that investment of fake butter. You know, he's got his fingers in the fake meats as well, hasn't he? But apparently, he's scaling back things that he's linked to from a doing the right thing point of view, you know, climbing all that. Uh, it's being scaled back because of the Trump era. He's recognised that maybe there won't be as much backing for this. So, therefore, he needs to maybe scale back. But I don't really understand that because, of course, he's doing it from the goodness of his art, because he cares about the world, he cares about the environment, he cares about people. Um, so to scale back would suggest that it's got stuff to do with money, profit, power, maybe control, uh, but it can't have anything to, to do with that. No, no it's, it's for all our goodness, ta-ta.